Hello guys, my name is Yogesh Gupta and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a bootable media for re-imaging or reflashing your Dell Vice Thin Client with the Thin OS. So basically the Thin Vice uh, device comes with your Thin OS and for getting the compatible uh, image you need to go to this site dell.com slash support here you will find a search box where you can add the service tag number and search it. So example once you search it you will be getting a menu like this which shows you the compatible image version so depending on your version you can download the latest depending on the date as well so for the purpose of this tutorial I have already downloaded my image apart from that you also need uh, Dell Vice imaging utility so for that you need to go to the site download.dell.com slash vice slash usbft so here there are different versions of the utility and for the it's always uh, nice to go with the latest version as it's more stable and will support uh, more models compared to the previous version so as I can see it's 3.3.0 that is the latest so I'll be downloading that as well so guys I have downloaded both the tools that is Dell Vice tools and my image that will be formatting the USB with so first of all just install the Dell Vice utility uh, that is 3.3.0 for the sake of this tutorial I have already installed it as you can see USB imaging tool now the second step would be to extract your image as it's in zip file so I'll be extracting it here itself and I can see that it has created an extracted folder now once I go I can see that 30408.6 which is the core image that I require so I'll be extracting that as well so it will create another subfolder here so I'll go in that now I can see that it has created the image folder that has been extracted so here I have two ways to select the image either I can use RSP file or the second I can use the XML file that is shown here but for using those file I'll be using this utility that is I have installed like I said before so I'll click here and make sure your pen drive is connected as well so once you are done with this your pen drive should automatically get detected here the second step I would go here is image push uh, tab then I'll go to 64 bits since mine is there you can change the preference as per your needs and here I can see the plus symbol to add the image so I'll click here I'll browse the path where I had extracted that so here I have extracted in thin OS so here is the image that I have extracted 3040 now here I have two ways to select image in case if I wish for RSP file I'll select the RSP file in case if I want to go with the XML I'll select the XML and go in the subdirectory and then it's subdirectory and the select the XML file so once you are done the image gets mounted here you can see that and make sure that your USB is still being detected and once it's done just click on configure USB drive so once it's done it will start the process of formatting and uh, copying the files it will take some time so I'll pause the video for time being so once you are done with this you can see that there is a success message that gets displayed that your process has been successful to cross check you can just access the USB and see that the files have been copied successfully and you are pretty much done with it so that's all for my tutorials thank you so much